but it's diner. So I don't think I've been in here before. Obviously, you get in through here. Yeah, this looks like where you're supposed to come in. There's like nothing on that shelf. Yeah, so one of these guys had glowing eyes, this guy, right? Reminded me of a fucking video I was watching last night uh, where literally this person's like, I woke up at 3 a.m. and this is this is what I saw like looking at me I was alone and on their recording uh, they had it looked somewhat like a person peeking into their bedroom door except the eyes were glowing a little bit and I'm like I'm sitting there trying to remember if human eyes reflect in light at all and I'm like I'm pretty sure they do not and I'm just sitting there like if I was having a chance of sleeping, if that was going to be a possibility tonight, it sure as fuck is not now. It used to be something that absolutely, like, scared the shit out of me when I did leave the alone. There's a concept of, like, leaving doors cracked. Um... Uh, even though I lived alone and, you know, I had to leave the door cracked to let a cat um, come and go out of the room or whatever. My biggest fear would be like, what if, for no other reason than for the sake of what if, I woke up during the night or rolled over while I was like going to sleep and somebody was peering through the crack of my door. Like, what if? And, and just the thought of that alone was enough to like be like, yep, I'm not fucking sleeping or I need my back up against the wall be able to sleep now. When it comes down to it, I'm like generally pretty chicken about the whole concept of like leaving a door cracked. Okay. Just gonna scrap that. Brass is more useful to me than uh, the money for the shelves. Now, it's coming up to, like, night time. I'm not too worried about the green area. I would like to kind of explore over this way. I should be able to get there on foot. Or is it that way? 200 odd meters. I try to, like, just chill out a little bit at night. I don't really want to attract too many zombies. I know I say that often, and then I just go fucking ham on them. Buildings over here, I just am not familiar with. Hmm. Yeah, I don't recognize that place. Interesting. Mind you, like, I've tried pretty much, I've tried all the maps that come pre existing with the game. I've tried random generation maps, and honestly, they can be some of the funniest shit. So you imagine you've got a driveway, right? A road, and it's going perfectly, perfectly straight. Lovely and wonderful. And the next minute you have a legitimate, like, fucking 90 degree incline. And, or, it's like, I don't know how to put it. Like, shit's going up that way kind of thing. Like, the road's going up, like, that direction straight ahead. And you just gotta, like, go sideways for a while. While you drive or walk, whatever. It's really weird. Like... You can get the most amount of, like, traders and POI randomness and stuff by doing that. It's pretty good. This place is that one that has that uh, lock thing downstairs. So obviously, can I not unloot this place? Huh. I thought I had. It's a pretty secure place. There's no wall that you can work on here that isn't, like, fucking rock solid. I've tried drilling the floor before, and it's just as bad. Yeah, so you're supposed to like go up through the house and then takes you all the way down through this basement and then you're supposed to come up through here last. And I was actually wondering if that roof might actually be delicate enough. Give me a quick second. I want to see this. I just noticed this is just roof, right? So here's my question. <laughs> So 
Yeah, by the look of it, there's nothing. Wow, they really did fortify this in a way that you can't just get straight down into this building. I was just thinking about it because I'm like, I've tried a few different ways. I've tried the walls. I've tried digging inside that room. I've tried digging the ground outside here. I've tried a few different ideas for how to get into this little square under me. It has so much loot. But I never thought about trying the roof. And obviously it doesn't really matter. It sounded like there was a couple of zombies walking around here. Where are you? Oh, right in the D. I didn't intend for that to be the case, but it happened. Yeah, I got him. What the? That's that green building, isn't it? This place has a bunker as well. What the fuck is it with this town and its bunkers? I had a little bit of time. The hole for it's right here. bit further over than I remember. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it is actually further over here, sorry. Yeah, there it is. I'm like, that's going really far and that's a really solid top to it. Probably honestly the most I've used my orca since you guys have been watching. Just cringe down in here. Okay. There's definitely some pissed off zombies. Funny thing is, I don't actually have a loud enough gun to set off all the zombies around the corner. I'll kill you because you're gonna turn there and bash on the roof, and I know you are. This is actually pretty good. Once I like clear out the next room, pretty good spot to like, you know, hide away for the night. Alright. Here we go. And they get Night time, why are you so dead? Oh, it's only 21. I legit thought it was like, you know, 10 pm for them. And just make sure there is no other zombies in there, right? As soon as this box over, it's going to, um, they'll be able to run. I don't really know. Yeah, this is basically why my person is so flush of shit. Is once you kind of like recognize the building and you recognize kind of like the pattern. This is also why I don't mind when they do like their alpha updates and change all the POIs and stuff like that. Because it gives us something to explore again. I'm gonna have to just do what I can with like scrapping a few of these things. I should just scrap down these boxes, eh? I'll have to wait. Okay, can you take. I don't want that blue bag to disappear. You can take some medical shit though, right? Yeah. And that needs to get the hell out of that spot. I've made several mistakes before where that blue backpack is involved. God damn my foot. Hopefully some water helps it. Yeah, so the mistakes that I've made before has been that blue backpack drops and for a long time I didn't know that that actually disappears. So I ended up putting a fucking amazing gun in it once and basically kissed it goodbye because it, it timed out and I'm like frantically running around like, oh, it should be here, it should be here. And I could not find it no matter what I did. And I was never going to find it because it ceased to exist at that point. 
put the chili and the map in here because I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. Do we have to pick up that shit? No. We got another spot again. No, I don't want to create something. By the way, like, I think I'm at the point where I can make boxes of ammo for the most part. Some of them are locked. But yeah, I can, I can make like a fair bit of stuff. Which, by the way, if you're making a goddamn box of something, it's so much better than making it just loose. Because at least it's like a stack. Like with, you know what I showed with the rock and the, the um, wood before? It's so much better when you've got like a few stacks of, you know, a thousand or something like that. Because it's just so much space. It's so much space that you don't realize you need until you just have an entire inventory full of like 150 rounds of ammo. Which you would have seen in my base at some point. With my absolutely disgraceful display of how not to make bullets. I don't think I can scrap a tire. And I know it sells for right, but I don't need to be carrying that. The odds of finding more tires is just too unlikely. But I might just I might just poke my nose around this place. So, let's crack on my light. There is some corpses in here I can probably get rid of. Got some sunnies. Yeah, so I think if you've got a broken leg in this game, I don't really advise necessarily jumping down into stuff. Because sometimes you cannot get back out. I would like to scrap, like, the outfits and stuff like that but I just don't have the space. Uh please tell me you're not prioritizing keeping the bone. Okay, what is this? Animal fat. I would much rather that. What is this? Oh yeah. Yes there should be like uh scrap polymers. Okay I really didn't expect to see that. I was expecting maybe it might have been like uh, what you call it? What, what's the other thing they do sometimes? Nitrate. That's the thing I was expecting it to be. Really weird. Okay, that's going to take forever to scrap down. Yeah, it's really weird it's got scrap polymers. Get some fuel, that'll be good. Get my inventory. Let's um, refill this. I'm using it a bit. That is a nice shut door. I hear all the zombies getting around. I don't know where they are yet. I want to give this a minute to like finish scrapping, but I'm not going to really get it, am I? Come down, mate. Now, I know this room here is not the most secure. I know that because you're standing there. They sound like they're like right in the room with me. I can't pick that up, but I don't want to lose it. I would rather get rid of that. All right. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I do that so fucking often. I'm sure you can drink some murky water. I have the worst fucking habit, no joke, of like accidentally destroying shit. I'll tell you what, that's gonna get them all antsy. Slap some alvira on. And great, there's a fucking wolf involved now. Is this like literally like an outside wall or something? Hey, cotton. Honestly, a little bit fucking concerned about what the fuck's going on out there. Where am I? This is a little alarming. There's so much going on outside. I'm gonna have to eat the chicken rations because they don't go into anything. 
Maybe upstairs? How did I just level up? What just happened? I don't have any traps or anything. That's no sense. This is times where I'm like legitimately so confused what just went, like what just happened. I think they've broken whatever they like stopping them and keeping them in place. Yeah, yeah those painkillers aren't staying with me. Yeah, so obviously you guys have figured out how to get in here. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Just as you're about to. Fuck off, I'm doing stuff. I don't have room for the fresh meat for this, honestly. A little bit of a shame. I hate wasting stuff. Um, I can't pick that up yet. What's in here? Okay, I really don't think that's that fantastic. Interesting though. Alright, I'm still breaking stuff down. I'll still give that a minute. I'm still trying to like find stuff in her inventory that she can't potentially eat. Those rock busters can go in your drone. Where's your drone? Uh, possibly in the wall. Okay, I would sell that. And that and that. I want to keep that. Then there. Yeah. Okay. I think they'll give me a little bit of extra space for the moment. Let's grab meat. Oh. Disappeared like right as I picked up the meat. Right. Let's go upstairs and figure out what's going on up here. They obviously sound like they came in this way. I'm guessing I have to go back the way I just came. No? Oh, here's where they came in. I'm curious what wall they got in from over here. Ah, I see. That's squishy. Alright. That's that done. I'm gonna climb up on the roof. I'm pretty certain that zombies can climb these things. I think. Be one buzzard. Can't not like scopes like sneak them. Okay, where am I on the map? Oh, that's a bunny. I'm not actually that far from the desert, am I? I'll probably keep exploring up a little bit. Like, as the title of the um, video says, it's just general ex exploration today. So, it's one of those things where, you know, some people enjoy going for a wander around and other people find it boring as piss so you know, hopefully hopefully it can be a little bit interesting because I haven't seen some of these POIs what was interesting though is like there was a bunker and a bunker place right next door to each other All right. I kind of want to just head down the road a little bit I should have gone back down the way I came in. It made sense. What are you doing? There's that place. Uh, this is the one that has like all the dogs, but it's got like really good stuff up there. And this would be the vet, I would imagine. So I'm going to get the fuck around the front of the building. Yeah. 
back of the vet has got that really good spot for the loot. How about going for a wander through the motel? So obviously over this way is where I haven't been. I think I've seen that building. There was one I had in the desert next door to one of my bases. I like these. They're supposed to look like, like bee boxes and stuff. I think it's cool. Okay, so. There are a zombie to my left. Looks like that mansion place again. Let's see if I can get on top of that vehicle. Should be a zombie right next to this that's actually alive. Oh. She's on the other side. Alright. So I don't actually need like painkillers and stuff, but I've got a bit of space now. Grab that bandage thing if it's still there. Nope. nope, for that. I didn't even know where that was distance wise from me, but it's a full, full hard on fucking nope. I swear, sometimes I look at these zombies and I just, I don't understand. I do get it, like in a sense, like I've got sneak, right? So she obviously ran this way and she's not really sure where I am and then she kind of like encountered that and got stuck I imagine. Hearing the zombies coming in. See if I can get you off a sword this time. Shetty. Huh. Come here. Or don't? This is very confusing. I don't want to make noise because I just don't want to keep attracting them. If you guys could see my expression, I'm like bewildered just watching this guy. Oh, here we go. Come back here. There we go. All right. That's about as silent a kill as I could make. Now I need to scrap down some shit. Ba, 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 ba. Get rid of that. I know steel tools sell for like a mint, but it's okay. So let's just throw some shit on this bottom row. That I know I'm probably going to sell at some point. Um, I could probably slap some of this healing stuff in my drone. Come here. I found that. That's going to help. I actually have a lot of this 7mm ammo. It, it kind of annoys me sometimes when I accidentally acquire it because I have so friggin' much and I keep selling it off and I still have so friggin' much. Okay. So. Where am I? Now, to my knowledge, I think I've looted these recently, but I'm not 100% certain. I do kind of want to go straight line up here and kind of check out what these buildings are. So, where are we going? Chicken. Uh, it's just a crawly dude. It's fine. I'm pretty sure... I didn't see her. She must have just spawned in. I must admit, I do like the fact that they use like an energy drink can for like a silencer or something. Or a muzzle. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of it is, but it's interesting. Now, oh fuck. I don't need that. That's pretty though. Colors are really pretty. I'm pretty sure this house has a massive underground area from memory. 
Like, it's literally a four person loot or loot out. I'm gonna run over to this pass some gas. Just get up where I can shoot them for a second. Alright. I thought there was a couple of these. At least Dawn is coming. Like, generally speaking, I would usually play a lot during the daytime with Seven Days to Die. And at night time, night time would be my time to kind of like get up and go and get a drink, stretch, uh, use the bathroom if I need it, stuff like that. But obviously, like, I can't just like fuck off for like 17 minutes at a time per stream. So, kind of, like, kind of chill out and try to find stuff to kill and do. Last shot though. I wasn't kind of expecting a second granary thing here, but it does make sense. There's a lot of farms. But it's morning. They uh they walk now. Speaking of, why am I walking? I have a bike. <sighs> okay. So I haven't explored here. There's a whole big area here which I don't think actually has anything. That looks like green. That looks like a green zone over there. Okay, so I'm going to just go buy a couple of traders on my way over and have a look. So, first up, first trader. interesting I didn't know that there was a green section beyond the desert like I said I, we really didn't like explore into the desert much and when I did we kind of just did an overhead with the gyros that was sort of where we kind of left it I'm not sure which side of the mountain I've got to go on this actually I'm gonna go to the right and hope for the best I just don't see that. Must be in the desert. I don't really look too close ahead of me. I really should because there's a lot of like usually ores and stuff in here. But I'm only like looking quite a distance ahead. Uh, oh yeah. I was gonna say, I'm like, I don't recognize the fence. I'm like, I also don't recognize the fence. I only have a look at the building. I should actually be driving on the road since it is a road. It'd be interesting if there is like a big hole, another town in the green past the desert. I can't imagine finding every possible trader on a map. But it could happen. I sort of saw just last second where I was going there and I'm like, I don't really want to fall in the ditch on the other side of that. That place looks cool. Like, I'm honestly like looking at the houses, that's why I'm like running into so many things. But it's very interesting to see some of these like layouts. Oh, that morning sun. 